everybody, so this is Josh here, AKA Bearded Fat Loss, and I thought it'd be fun to make this video to show you guys in a little more detail my weight loss transformation. For those of you that don't know, I have actually lost a total of 145 pounds throughout my journey. And this does go back pretty much my entire life. You know, I've been overweight from a very young age. I'm gonna do my best to provide some photos for you guys to show kind of the different points in my life that I'm gonna talk about in this video. And I know I've talked about this transformation on my Instagram page, but this is gonna be nice because I'll have a little bit more time to go in depth as to my history and the struggles that I went through. So hopefully you guys can relate a little bit and see that it is all gonna be okay. All right, so starting from the very beginning, me as a child, uh, you know, I hadn't always been overweight when I was a young kid. You know, from about the ages of you know zero to five, I'd say I was pretty normal. But then around the ages of six or seven, I did start to gain weight. And even from that young age, I was very self-conscious about it. And from there, I had slowly and steadily gained weight throughout my years as a kid until the age of 18. You know, I had, at that point, I had gotten to about 280 pounds when I was graduating high school. And from there, I actually got a job at a big and tall shop as an assistant manager. And uh, shortly after I'd started there, a couple of coworkers and myself actually decided to have a little bet for a weight loss competition for one month. Whoever lost the most weight had to buy everybody dinner. And I'm a, I can be a very competitive person, so I was all about this. And it was a good excuse to kickstart my weight loss journey. And at this time, uh, I didn't really know much of anything about how to lose weight. You know, I had read a book called The Glycemic Load Diet. Pretty much said sugars and starches are the devil. Avoid those and you'll drop the weight. So I did that. So I had avoided those sugars and starches and I knew, you know, the gym, is, people lose weight in the gym, so I went to the gym. I did a lot of cardio during that time, and I had actually dropped about 30 pounds in one month. I won the competition, of course, and, uh, and then I'd gotten down to about 250 pounds at the end of that, and so this was somewhere around, you know, the end of 2008. You know, I was 18 years old. I uh, had recently broken up with my high school girlfriend. I was thinner, happier than ever. All right, so naturally after being a little bit happier and a little bit more comfortable, I had met my girlfriend who is now my wife and I joined a rock band. And then after that, things started to derail again. You know, that month I had done a weight loss competition. I hadn't really learned how to lose weight or how to keep the weight off. You know, I had gotten it off quickly and effectively for the competition, but not for my long-term goals. So I quickly fell back into old habits. You know, I had started eating out a bunch again, I had started eating those sugars and those starches again, and slowly but surely gained all of that weight back. So throughout these next couple of years, you know, I was really just having a good time, dating my wife, uh, playing shows, you know, my, my band actually that I used to be in, we got the chance to tour you know, across a lot of the United States, so we had a ton of fun, but along with that is a lot of drinking and partying and fast food and not sleeping properly and pretty much any unhealthy thing you can think of was what I was doing. And so this continued on uh, end of 2008, beginning of 2009 through May of 2011. Now, May of 2011 is when I had that magical clicking moment. I remember this very vividly. I was in a hotel in Chicago visiting with my sisters, and they happened to have a bathroom scale there. Now this, I had known I had gained more and more weight from, you know, over those last couple of years, and I was so far from my lowest of 250 after that competition back in 2008. And at this point, I was at my heaviest, I was, thoroughly embarrassed by my looks and I had weighed myself in that hotel and the number on the scale was 315 pounds now I couldn't believe it I was seeing that three at the beginning of my weight you know I had always said you know I'm gonna take care of this at some point you know or I'll take care of this when it gets worse or you know just putting it off and procrastinating not taking action and chickening out on what I wanted to do but seeing that three there really hit home for me. I knew I needed to do something or else, you know, this was gonna be the rest of my life. And so I was on this long weekend trip in Chicago realizing, all right, I'm gonna make this change. Something's gotta happen. So 
So I had made the plan for when I got back. You know, I'm just gonna go full force, zero to 100. I'm gonna take this weight off. So when I got back, I had started. You know, in the first few months I had done this, all I did was cut out any kind of drinks with calories from my diet. Uh, you know, I was a big drinker of, you know, Mountain Dew and apple juice is pretty much what I lived on. I knew, you know, if I cut that out, that's gotta be good, right? So I did, and I stuck with that. I made a point not to change anything else in my diet other than cutting out any kind of drinks with calories, and I dropped about 15 pounds in three months. And I felt really good about this, and after those few months, I decided it's time to go a little bit further. Now it's time to take those next steps. I had heard, you know, taking those small changes is gonna be good, and I felt ready. And what do you do when you're ready? You know, I started hitting the gym hard. I didn't know really much of what I was doing. You know, I'd, I remember going into the gym, I'd go, I think four or five days a week, and I'd do about 45 minutes of cardio. Uh, and I would always use the elliptical machine. So I was able to get through that, and it was still a really hard workout. I never liked running, I still don't. I always thought it was because I was heavier. So I'd done the elliptical. I'd usually do about 45 minutes, you know, four or five times a week. And I did do a little bit of weight training here and there when I was going to the gym at that time. You know, I, I would always just work on my arms because I wanted, you know, who doesn't want muscly arms when you're a guy? And also at this point, I had started to track my calories. I downloaded my fitness pal, and this was when smartphones were just starting to come around and be popular and mainstream. It was 2011. I'm only 26, I swear I'm not that old. Yeah, so I went through the recommendations of whatever my fitness pal told me to have for my calories. But I also, at the same point, remembered in the back of my head, sugars and starches are the worst. I can't eat those. So I went along tracking my calories, you know, not really eating any kind of carbs. And I was pretty successful with that. You know, I'll post, I know I have a picture of my stats for those first few months. I'll try and post that here. And a quick side note on that, actually. Take as many measurements and metrics of your progress as possible. Now, I was lucky enough to have a good amount of pictures that I've taken, and I've always taken measurements. I've always really liked that data, and that makes things so much easier for you to be able to show, you know, I've made this much progress, or I haven't made this much progress. So I continued on with that calorie tracking and the low carb diet from May 2011 all the way through, you know, about the beginning of 2013. And throughout this time, I was in and out of the gym. You know, I'd have a few months at a time where I was going really regularly, and then a few months off, a few months back on. So I wasn't really consistent with my gym time, but I was consistent with my diet. You know, in spring 2013, I'd gotten down to, I think my lowest was around 230, 235. I believe I have a picture I'll put up. So I was at my all-time lowest weight, and to be honest, I was still a little discouraged. You know, I had lost about 80 pounds at that point, and I still saw the same overweight guy in the mirror every day. You know, all that hard work, all that struggling for years, and I still didn't have that goal. And this can be really tough mentally, you know, for myself and a lot of people. You know, for those that have, you know, 50 plus pounds to lose, you know, it can take a significant amount of time of your life to get to your goal weight. All right, in spring 2013, I had finally moved out of my parents' house. And along with that freedom came a lot of my old unhealthy habits. Uh, I had pretty much immediately fallen out of my routine and really threw a wrench into my weight loss. You know, I, I slacked off and I was starting to eat, you know, a ton of fast food and I was starting to, you know, have a half a bottle of wine each night or even a whole bottle a lot of nights, uh, you know, hanging out with my friends. I'd lived with, you know, I lived with my now wife and one of our best friends. Yeah, so we were just having, you know, pizza and Taco Bell and wine and having a good old time. And at this point as well, I had started a new job. Uh, and, you know, breaking from the routine can really throw off your progress. And that's why I always talk about, you know, you can't hide from it. And that's exactly what I was doing. You know, I was out of my routine and I wasn't following my plans that I had and I was just kind of embarrassed with myself, to be honest. So 2013 through the first half of 2014 just continued with more of that. You know, I'd slowly started to gain some of that weight back. Come May 2014, pretty much a year straight of unhealthy living once again, 
and went from that lowest of 235 up to about 260. And I'll post those pictures, I know I have them right here. And also at this time was when I'd proposed to my wife. And I remember that was a big push for me to go through that last bit of my weight loss. I didn't want to have my wedding photos and be that overweight guy that I'd been ashamed of for so many years. Not that you should be ashamed of yourself, but I was. So I proposed to my girlfriend, who's now my wife. She said yes, of course. And this was it. There was finally a clock on the rest of my weight loss. So we were actually on a trip uh, to Traverse City and I knew you know from there I needed to get my butt in the gear and get going on this and finish it once and for all and how would I finish this well with that low carb diet of course now I'd read a book you know a little bit before that point called the four-hour body it's a uh, a guy by the name of Tim Ferriss so he has a diet in that book called the slow carb diet and all that is, again, is avoiding sugar and starches, simply put. Now this diet ended up being pretty effective for me. You know, I was at 260 when I'd started it, and that was, you know, right around June of 2014. Well, from June of 2014 to about January 2015, I went from 260 to 200. I was at my lowest weight. 200 was always the goal weight in my head where I was gonna be thin and I was gonna be happy and I was gonna be satisfied. Well, I got to that 200 and I still felt like that overweight guy. You know, I still had a lot more fat to lose than I originally had thought. So I kept going. You know, I'd gotten down from 200 to, you know, in the 180s uh, from January of 2015 through about June of 2015. And so right around June 2015 is when I discovered flexible dieting and when I discovered weightlifting and bodybuilding. So I'd realized, you know, I wasn't necessarily dissatisfied with my weight, but I was dissatisfied with my physique. You know, I, was, I had some loose skin, I still had some fat in that skin as well, and I was just unhappy. You know, I did want to have some muscles <laughs> and be proud of my body that I'd worked so hard to get to at that point. And at this time, I had forgotten to mention also that I had gotten my first real bike and gotten really into cycling. I was going on these really long rides, you know, I was riding three, four times a week, having a blast, getting even thinner, and enjoying my physique even a little bit more, and I was just happy. And my wife and I had gotten married in September, and I was finally at my kind of goal weight and I was finally happy with where I was at. And so later in that fall, I had really started to pursue bodybuilding. You know, as the weather got colder, I couldn't cycle as much, so I spent more and more time in the gym. And November of 2015 is when I started my Instagram account. You know, I, I was really happy with my progress and I just really wanted to help others with theirs. And I knew all of the mistakes that I made over the years, I could hopefully try and help someone to avoid those things. And the rest is history. Since then, I've gotten even more into bodybuilding. I am currently on my first bulk. I had started May of this year. Um, so I am currently bulking right now. And that's been a really interesting mentality to have. You know, after so many years of being too heavy and wanting to lose weight or actually losing weight, you know, it's, it's been an interesting journey these last three months on the bulk, but I've been doing very well with it. But we're not going to talk about the bulk right now, uh, maybe another video. And be sure to ask me any questions you might have in the comments. I'm sure I forgot something, uh, some details and things, you know, when your weight loss journey is pretty much over a lifetime, it's, uh, it's tough to remember every last little detail. But definitely ask me if you guys think anything that I forgot to mention. Uh, make sure to leave the video a like if you enjoyed this and uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of these and thank you guys all so much for watching i really appreciate it have a great day